Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. In this video, uh, I will talk about the newest feature in the game, uh, which is seasonal talents. Um, I will discuss what's my opinion regarding 100% free-to-play player and how this feature will affect game in general. First of all, what is seasonal talents, right? As you can see, there is like a couple of uh, trees, ranged, battlefield domination, battlefield, battle preparation and engineering mastery. Every each of these trees have their own benefits and some own negative benefits depending on your own gameplay. If you are a pay to win player or free to play player or you, your season is all about farming or maybe uh, your season is all about fighting, you can configure these talents uh, in your own gameplay. So how you get, get to unlock these skills if you will choose to go in whichever tree you would like. There is talent quests. Uh, simply by just playing the game you are getting talent points and you are using those talent points to unlock these skills. But what's most important about those talent points are that a couple of them is connected to your Augustan Stone, which means doesn't matter how much you're gonna play the game, the time must pass, so your Augustan Stone you should uh, like give you more and more rewards. Uh, and everybody knows that whenever it's all about Augustan Stone, it means that uh, like one month, two months, uh, three months ago, you will have some rewards from here, which means another additional feature of these seasonal talents are uh, you need to configure every each talent tree or skill point uh, to the type of the game you are currently. If it's early game you're gonna have basically first row skills. If it's mid game uh, you're gonna get second row skills and if you are in a late game then you're gonna get epic ones and some legendary trees. Uh, that's why like some other talent trees like defeating darklings, uh, upgrading three heroes to level 50, uh, occupy 11 villages at the same time uh, it's just some uh, t uh, talents whenever like you're gonna uh, pro like uh, complete these uh, quests you're gonna get some talents and you will use those talents uh, but if we will speak about the legendary and epic ones then we should wait and that's the whole idea behind uh, this talent talents in my opinion uh, like Right now I'm in season TI just got here. That means I have only first choices. It's early game uh, I guess in one month or one and a half months I will be able to get epic ones and uh, Then it's a late game at the end of the season like close to uh, we will be able to get legendary uh, talents so like uh, now in general, like uh, there is a lot of uh, people uh, speaking about what's better and what's wrong. Uh, in my opinion, I don't look at these talents as a, as a something uh, really good or something really bad. In my opinion, this is another way to have fun in game, especially if you are maining one single legion type. Uh, for example, for myself, I'm maining marksman, and whenever I played this game since the season one, I always wanted to have more march speed and longer range. Uh, and like these seasonal talents are giving me all the things which I was kind of crying about all, all the time. Like every single stream which I will, which you can uh, check on the channel, you will see I'm saying I wish I had more march speed or more range. Which means I'm giving the uh, fun which I always wanted. Uh, like for example, if you are mage player. You always want to have more skill damage as a mage player. All right, you got your wish, right? You got your wish. You can, you, you could not want to have more range as a mage. You already have highest range, right? So you have more skill damage out of this talents let's say if you are infantry player right like you're gonna have infantry talents and you're gonna have something which you have never had uh, if you are cavalry player only thing which you does not affect the talents are flying units which is kind of normal flying units are special units and it should not be touched that much but uh, like if you are generally maining one single um, hero types like for example marksmen you only have a marksman units or you only go for mages 
uh, or infantry or cavalry the, like these talents are fun uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna compare like which one is better which one is worse uh, in details in statistics uh, like we're gonna see at the end of the season that's like it's too early to speak about it but uh, for sure like for example myself myself i'm playing this game to have as much fun as possible uh, like i know i'm not spending in this game and uh, like i can't be the best or one of the best I'm just trying to soak as much fun out of this game and as a marksman main I love this change uh, and it's it's gonna affect uh, the game in a positive way something new which we have never had I love the graphics I love the choices so like it's time for you to yourself to configure every single skill um, uh, in your own gameplay that's why uh, I would not uh, say that like copy this gameplay or copy this uh, talent tree um, you should look at your own gameplay if you are pay to win player uh, I'm sure you have like most fun in one single uh, unit type maybe you love to have like cavalry or a uh, marksman maybe you love to have infantry or uh, mages but in general for pay to win players every single uh, legion type is good and that's why um, I can understand whenever you're gonna look at the details and in percentages which one is better. For myself, I look for the fun. I I I want to soak as much fun out of this game as possible by not spending any money in this game. This is my uh, honest opinion. <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, honest opinion regarding the talents, um, how they how it works, how you should approach it. In my opinion, uh, especially if you are a free-to-play player. Also, like now, I will say how I would uh, um, unlock these talents whenever, like, I will progress through the season. For example, uh, there is two choices, right? You can uh, choose one uh, some kind of fighting talent tree, uh, and the second one, more of a support versatile talent tree. Uh, battle preparation is all about resources. It's all about like prestige, like uh, things that you want to have in game in general. Engineering mastery is all about uh, like engineering. It says in this name, right? Uh, like ranged assault and battlefield domination is fighting talents, which means you can have one fighting talent. You're gonna choose from battlefield domination and range assault, and you're gonna have one supportive talent, which is battlefield preparation or engineering mastery. As I'm a marksman player, I would 100% go for the range assault uh, and if you are another type of player like you're gonna choose whichever you are if you're gonna be mage you're gonna choose range of assault if you are infantry or cavalry battlefield domination like i went for the prestige one uh, because every season uh, my gameplay is like this that i always missing some prestige uh, I'm, I'm going to fight in this season and that's why i i don't want to harvest her i'm not going to farm a lot that's why it will be useless for me to get it after that there is like you gain 20 percent more merits well i'm fighting against generally tier 5 players uh, and uh, it will be useless because tier 4 tier 4 player can't get a lot of merits out of tier 5s uh, that's why i might get to the back in the business to be more active uh, and to catch up uh, but this is a good choice like you can anytime go to the glories of war uh, diligent statecraft uh, additional warrant well policies already give me uh, three warrants if not mistaken but uh, like this doesn't really matter if i'm fighting then of course logistical support but for a free-to-play player it's not good to use resources for hospital and the alliance protection like maybe i will missing some alliance some uh, resources and i will be able to farm on my alliance territory without any harm uh, for the uh, range assault i went for a jail step because i always wanted to have march speed on my marksman i understand your legion deals 1.5 percent more hero skill damage is great but my gameplay is like this that i always want to have more march speed because i'm playing with marksman here it's what's interesting we have a burning rage your legion deals three percent more normal attack damage in the field and here, whenever we have at least one range legion in the battlefield, each additional range legion that enters the battle increases range legion percentage attack. Which means if I have one uh, one more uh, range legion uh, nearby of my uh, legions, I will have more attack damage, right? So in my plan is to have at least two uh, marksman legions. I'm gonna transfer faction to Swildorberg. I'm gonna have three ranged units plus ma uh, plus mages. So I'm gonna go with Hertz of Hertz as one hundred percent. Here it's pretty obvious. I'm going to get long range warfare. I'm gonna get some attack from here, and uh, this will mitigate some of the attack. But I'm trying my best to not lose too much. And of course, I will finish with suppressive fire. This is how I will go. 
in these talent trees, if uh, I will test everything and something will go wrong, um, of course, I'm going to take another video and explain what went, what went wrong. Uh, but I think this is a great addition uh, to the game. Uh, like a lot of fun, like in general in Kingdom Builder games, whenever there is something new, every new season, uh, I'm always excited. I know this game is grind, I know like to be able to increase the power or like in general strengths, time should pass. Uh, that's why this is the nature of uh, being free to play player. Uh, and I'm kind of excited. I'm looking forward for me to get to tier five uh, units. And whenever uh, I have a goal, I have I have already have a lot of fun. Uh, tell me what do you think about the talents, seasonal talents uh, feature and talent quests. What you like, what you don't like, how you are going to uh, like choose which trees you are going to follow. Uh, I think this is pretty cool. I wish we had something more like this uh, more occasionally. But yeah, but like this game is just starting. It's been one year since it's been released, uh, and it's pretty normal that uh, time needs to pass in order for us to get new and uh, better content. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you like the channel, press like, um, comment, subscribe. Uh, it always gives me more motivation whenever I see those uh, rising up. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good morning, evening, and uh, like uh, depending wherever you are. I'm gonna see you very very soon. Bye-bye.